Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Bring It Down. Let's hunt down a hag after we take all of her stuff. Also, I believe it's Jahira who has the Hagsbane. Dragon Blush. I think that's a new drink. Report on Old Garlos. Day 1. I found Swamp Girl Auntie. Her and her little friends are hiding at Old Garlos' place, shaking like rattled babes. Your illusion worked perfectly, of course, and they welcomed me with open arms. They spent the day crying about hags. It's pathetic. They're no threat to you. Day 2. Swamp Girl mentioned something about a book, but she won't tell me where it is. I'm investigating further. I'm sure it's nothing. Day 3. They have it, Auntie. They have the book. I used your doll. The idiot so terrified. Once I find the book, I'll kill them. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of everything. Do what must be done. Time to press ahead. I'm glad I used my bow. I wasn't thinking about my elemental weapon buff. I just figured it'd be trapped. I wonder if this is a way back through. So this feels like the way to her lair. Where's this go? Okay, where is the other door go? Oh, did I miss this door the first time? Well, we know it's there now. Anybody? There it is. No doubt about it. This is where the hag So I could put on the masks and walk past these guys, or turn on non-lethal attacks, take them out so she can't summon them to the fight. 
Because the first time we fought her, she summoned the... Uh, cursed people she had in her lair. Eyes to yourselves. So I'm thinking of taking him out. We won't be able to talk to him after the fact. But it'll make the fight much easier. This way we guarantee there won't be collateral damage in the fight. Ow, she actually got hit. That doesn't happen often. Hey, she fought the mask for a turn. Nice. Not really a fight you're gonna walk away from. The Minsk wasn't in range? I don't think he uses reaction. House, vault number one key, which we've already looted. A mask of servility, part of the flock. Okay. Yeah, right click it. A uh, salty scimitar. Tar. I grant command, it's a plus two. I shiver me timbers, this be a devilishly nasty blade. Huh, might give that to Astarian. And a ransom note. My dear sweet Captain Grizzly, I've heard stories about you. 
and what tales they were of mighty battles and magnificent sea monsters. There's a woman who'll never be caught with her knickers down, or so I thought. Imagine my surprise when I nabbed your precious Bosun Gannet from under your nose, and so easily. He's quite the resilient little bugger, hasn't said a peep about you. But he'll break, they always do. Meet me in the Blushy Mermaid's basement, and come alone. Lots of love, Auntie. I can't take the mask off of them. Shoot. Forgot about that. How much farther can I go? A modeled key. An elaborate key plated with the silver. You take that at least. Leave the mask going, of course. You deserve to feel beautiful. My darling, your letter just about broke this old woman's heart. Bucktooth birder, they call you. Those monsters. Meet me tonight at the Blushing Mermaid, and together we'll sort this all out. You deserve to feel beautiful, Petal. And only I can make it happen. Lots of love, Auntie. I can save your child. You've been a silly thing, sweetie. Did I not warn you? Did I not tell you death was coming, for wife and child both? But you didn't listen. Now the love of your life is rotting in the ground. I can't save her, but your babe, your sweet little babe who is the image of her, I can save him, if you're willing to pay the price. So either there's a trap around here somewhere, or we can do some digging. I should probably give her one of these elixirs. So she can actually use her flail. Should mind my step. Get her up there. Plant uh, your feet with care. Uh, uh. <clears throat> oh, hello there. I can do with that, I guess. Just avoid that trap. Just they turn and pick up. Disarm it. Nice. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh, there's a Be cautious. bunch of traps here. I may as well disarm it all so we can safely walk down.
Or not. We'll just take a short rest before we proceed. Now, I didn't see a survival check here, but... try digging because there was a shovel laying on the ground. Nothing but dirt. Fair enough. What path lies before me? Here, you just have to take the damage, I think. These things have stayed interesting. That's okay. That's what a short rest is for. To be done. With haste. Be wary. This place is trapped. All right, lost time. Mother's loathing. Butterflies in the stomach. I think we've seen those before, right? They sound very similar to the ones we've already found. Butterflies in the Stomach, a traditional brew of ergot and nutmeg, meant to recapture the fluttering thrill of first love. A mother's Loathing. A hint of blood lingers around the stopper, it's enough to make your mouth water. And Lost Time. Its seal is dry and cracked with age, yet the clear potion within bears no signs of spoilage. Oh, is it the earth beneath that crunches, or the bones within? about the trap anymore. Brute force wins out again. Oh, that must be the mushrooms we have to destroy. Wait, where are my summons at? They stuck all the way back at the entrance? There they are. One day I'll catch a break. Alright. Worry about looting after the fact. Oh, the bent off hero finally showed up. I told you, Petal, you can't hurt me without killing little Zandra. I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Die. No? Okay, so we have three Pearl Spore Bells. A couple of them are a little out of the way. What does this uh, healing pearl do? Start of its turn, this mushroom keeping Ani Ethel alive regains all its hit points unless some effect prevents it from restorative healing. 
Linked her with fell magic. These mushrooms keep Auntie Ethel alive until they are destroyed. Okay. Uh, let's find a way to mark her. goes next. I want to get something on her to stop her from hiding from us. Because she makes copies of herself. At least she did last time. Uh, should I hit with the Hagsbane immediately? 70% chance. I want to go for a guaranteed, right? I don't have any water on hand. We throw that instead. Or hit her with an arrow. We could silence her. Alright, so that's the way to mark her, and then we do an arrow of ice. See what we can do with that. Okay, it didn't work. But well, we do have some of those arrows of many targets. Let me try that and try and clear out the the false Auntie Ethels. Alright, so she's the real one. We can't kill her. So we apply Hag's Bane, right? We can soften her up. He's not gonna kill her, right? On my way. Uh, we could... Let's go do this. We give him Hagsbane. Fantastic. What did you? Stay down, Vagra. Release Vanra, right now. No! Stay down! <laughs> you cost me a fresh young hat! I'm going to paint the wall with your guts, you little shit stain! Oh, that's right, we have to destroy the mushrooms. I did forget about those. Oh, whoops, I have that turned on. Well, if we don't kill her, I guess she doesn't proc the mushrooms, right? So now I have as much time as I need to to take out the mushrooms. Or not. Uh, 
Oh, well, she's not going to be able to take it out by herself. So heal up next turn. That's alright, we saved Von, right? We can kind of do whatever we want at this point. Oh, she's in the corner. Alright, so we do need to try and keep her alive. I thought she left. If I wanted my growth thing to pet, it wouldn't be you I'd call. Two to nine, probably not worth it. Let's do the fireball. Just clear out the copies. We'll take out the mushroom next time. For the fallen. What? How do you... What? <laughs> I don't know how he fell down there. I'm guessing he took an attack of opportunity from somebody, and it stopped his jump midway. But if he's jumping here, they're all positioned there. But I feel like it wouldn't have hit him. the wrong thing. It's gonna heal up. Oh, I actually use my ranged attack. Dang it. Slow down. 
You're Vanry, right? Your mom sent me. Mom. Mommy! Okay. I'll have to get back to camp in five minutes. The gods are watching me. Ring of Feywild Sparks grants Feywild Sparks. While your Sorceress Tides of Chaos feature is active, you will always trigger Wild Magic Surge when casting spells. This otherwise unassuming ring ties a spellcaster indelibly to the sporadic arcana of the Fairy Realm. Oh, I don't need that. No longer speak. Fair enough. I guess you don't have to actually pick up Minsk, right? It's been a while since somebody went down. <laughs> I consider that a fluke anyway. Also, Hay Sports right here is pretty nice. Here I activated them once. It's free haste. I'm pretty sure they don't rock lethargy either. our way back through. Well, let's go revive Minsk first. In case he has any dialogue. Withers, it's been a while, but I need your services. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead. Then thou must return with the proper payment. I have the proper payment right now. This is the price of balance. Well counted. I recommend keeping my distance for a moment. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. I did not sleep. I did not snore. It was a battle trance. All right. Shortcut back, we can go talk to the folks. Or at least, uh, Gannett. Or he has something to say. Is it this one or this one? I think it was this one. Oh, I want to go back and see if we can talk to the masked folks. <sighs> it's a sad day in the maid. A sad and bloody day. <sighs> Captain Grizzly is dead. And my only comfort is you off their killer. A god's damned hag of all things. How'd she get captured in the first place? Not a clue. My head's still melted. Feels like I've been sucking on fog for days. All I know is I had one job. Protect my captain. <laughs> and I failed. She left me the maid. 
And while it won't be the same without her, no, you're always welcome here, mate. He got captured because she's trying to rescue him. Welcome back, mate. What can I get you? Uh. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the other NPCs will have the same dialogue as they had after we defeated the Red Caps. So they're probably still knocked out, right? Yeah. Can we take the masks off of them now? I don't think we should. When they wake up, they won't be controlled by it regardless. So, I'm not going to risk killing anymore because I <laughs> took the mask off their face. I'm curious if long resting will allow me to talk to them. Or if they'll disappear. I will give it a shot. Does anybody want to talk? Actually, let's see if they have anything to say about Auntie Ethel. Need something? Guess not. And they're up and about. Fantastic. Auntie! Where is Auntie? He didn't make it. I need to find her before they come back. Auntie! Auntie! Auntie, has my baby? Where is he? Where is my baby? Make Auntie give him back. Make her give back my baby. All right, well, let us travel to... Where is she at? Ain't near this. Yeah, just south of us. He was still chipping away when I left last night. You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. The hag was my problem to deal with. It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here. A token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. But I do. Everything is going to be alright. Laura is grateful for us bringing her daughter home. She thanked us with a small token. That's, that's right. Amulet of Wind Rider grants Ride the Winds and Gust of Wind. Transform into a cloud, becoming resistant to all damage. Gains advantage on Constitution, Dexterity, and Strength saving throws, and tiny in size. Gain advantage on ability checks and saving throws using Strength, and weapon attacks deal additional 1d4 damage. Until long rest. That sounds awesome.
Heavily embossed with filigree, this necklace reflects light in all directions. And Duelist Prerogative. The plus three, it's legendary, we don't have very many of those. It's a rapier. Elegant Duelist. Would you like that? When your offhand is empty, you score a critical hit when rolling at 19. Moreover, you gain additional reaction per turn. Withering Cut. When a hit with a melee weapon, use a reaction to deal additional necrotic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. Then challenge to duel. Challenge an enemy to attack only you inflicting bleeding on the target. And dueler's enthusiasm. While you're not dual wielding, you can make an additional melee attack with the dueler. That's cool. A blade gifted to Laura by her own mother, Lenore the Fleet. When challenged to duels, Lenora's opponents assumed she had received this nickname from some naval exploit. They found out how wrong they were when her blade blurred faster than the eye could follow. How about we bake something? You love baking. Remember? So I think Ride the Winds, because it lasts until long rest. It does require concentration, though. What does he currently have as his necklace? I think that might be better. It's a really good concentration spell. What do they have? Uh, that one's pretty solid on her. Uh, let's give it to her instead. Yeah, I like that. Everything is going to be alright. And then the uh, duelist prerogative. Mommy, that, that's right. Mommy is here. I might give that to Astarian. I don't think he took any dueling feats. Plus, he's using a tanned weapon right now, anyway. But I could give that to him for his upcoming quest. You hungry, sweet girl? So I might do that. How about we bake something? Uh, so we can return to the Hag Survivor group as well. Uh, before I do that, there's something I want to do back in Rivington. Now, I don't have that con- uh, the- not the contract, the will on hand. I want to talk to the clothing merchant here. I don't think they've said anything to contradict the last will and testament of their father. Because she got everything besides the store, and the son is supposed to run the store, which he's currently doing. I think she probably used her inheritance to open up this shop, or wherever it's at. Yeah, Harm's Garm. Welcome back to Harm's Garms. We've got clothes for you. Uh, Arms? Um, what do you need? Right, nothing new there. Yeah, I thought there's anything new for her to say there. All right, uh, back to Lower City Central Wall. Let's get our buffs out. That's the wrong thing. Tell us how. Will they? Classic 
Sleep with one eye open, evil. I steps all over the place. Both. God, you'd think the late Lord Gortash was a saint, the way the Gazette goes on about him. Yeah, they've really made a meal out of the death of Gortash, Scott. Won't tell us how Gortash died, though, will they? Classic Baldur's Mouth. Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. Okay, so it actually... And this spell's not as good as I thought it was. So I thought it was going to be an equivalent to Gash's form. And you can't attack in Gash's form, but it says Ride the Winds. And it says, Weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 damage. Okay, at the bottom it does say, While transformed, the target will be able to attack, cast spells, or talk. So how do you take advantage of the second effect there? A weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 damage. I feel like that's not the correct description. Something's off with that. I might give her the Corvid token instead. It makes sense that she can shapeshift. A little bit more fitting for a druid. And then... Minsk. Life is simple, and so is Minsk. Uh, that might come in handy. Go and equip that. That back to camp. Hey, classic Boulder's mouth. Shoddy journalism indeed. All right, uh, back to what we we're doing, which was buffing up. Then we equip this real quick. They've really made a meal out of the death of Gortash stuff. Arcade battery. Died, though, will they? Classic Boulder's mouth. It doesn't cost a spell slot. Heck yeah. All right, I'm going to call it here, and next time we'll head back to the Hag Survivors group and chit-chat with them. And then I guess we start working our way north towards Cazador's Palace. We knocked out... Oh, there's a cash down there too, so I didn't remember to do that. Alright, that's what we have to do with that guy too. Okay. By the way, we've got a plan for next time. Gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.